This video will get normal again really fast, but I, I beg the question to you. Why should you tumble when you have electric mumble? Perfect! Shut the front door and put your fucking knives away Cause what I'm gonna show you is in lightning with that rain Alternating currents of Nikola Tesla's brain Can be used to clean corrosion, it's electric anyway Last month I found a spoon when I mudlocked Dead Horse Bay It turned out to be silver like I came in second place I get a thrill out of refurbishing a piece of history Although I'm never gonna use it even with a garbage plate Electric marble should you turn back Trellis is a treasure hunter's trick of the trade It's less abrasive than sandblast, sandpaper grain It's much better than cleaning things chemically Removes corrosion but patina of copper stays green Electric mode My treasure finds clean like an OCD maid And in the numismatic world I want an extra fine grade And that's not really bad cause it's buried decades Attach the alligator clips and mix salt lemonade Electric mumble Perfect. Should you turn back when you got electric mumble? Electric mumble Should you tumble when you got electric mumble? Electric mumble Should you tumble when you got electric mumble? Electric mumble Should you tumble when you got electric mumble? It's like putting George Washington under the he got a shocking face lift down a Televersace Sometimes he looks new, sometimes retrograde Depends on the corrosion that lies underneath But when you get it right, it is quite a feat Makes your treasure collection look très magnifique Let me tell you this process, it ain't for the weak I will demonstrate the process in this video for free Electric mumble Electric mumble Electric mumble. 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 I'm going to document this just in case if it works. This is a bit of a long shot. Look here, that is silver. And uh, this is a pretty beaten up spoon. What do you want? I'm doing a video, do you mind? And we're going to do some electrolysis. I can't fit this in my tumbler. Tumbling might work, it'll also scratch it. So we're, we're going to go electrolysis after I let these fools out. Okay, so we start with a bowl of water attached to another spoon that we are going to sacrifice. I have an old cell phone wire that I just uh, split. You know, you see that there's two different wires that ran and uh, I split them and I got alligator clips on the end. Might have to scratch the alligator clips if they, uh, uh, if it, uh, you know, got too corroded. Uh, but as you can see, I've used these uh, for a bunch of times and they've worked and Sometimes there's other things we have to do. I'm really hopeful. We could get the whole spoon looking like this That would be spectacular um, I'm not gonna leave it just in water. Let me show you what else I put Salt whole bunch go salt go go salt go That's pretty good salt. And Italian lemon juice. Not just lemon juice, Italian lemon juice. Really, there's no difference, but I just wanna give a shout to my Italian peeps. We're using their lemon juice. There we go. It's made from lemons. All right, I agitated the mixture, or mixed it up, and uh, now, I'm getting everything out of the way, and we are going to cook it. 
Let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Now we watch for bubbles. Go, bubble, go. Up, oh, there we go. See that? Now we let it fry for a while. Got some good bubbling going on, so that's a good sign, and we're getting a change of color of the water. So uh, it's working. I do have to move it apart a little bit because there's very little space between the two clips. And when you come back 30 minutes later, wow, <laughs> oh man. Can't see that. Wow. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay, I can't believe how well this worked. Look at the details on this thing. Unbelievable. I mean, it still needs to be polished, but uh, look at the difference. The top, you know, that didn't get submerged versus the bottom. Polishing definitely needs it, but, um, wow. <laughs> and look at this water. Ooh. All right, well, let's do a little more. All right, I flipped the spoon, and we are getting bubbles once again. So we'll check back. All right, so I, uh... Let this go for about another 30 minutes and gonna check again. The water didn't get nearly as dark, but uh, most of the corrosion had come off. I checked and I decided it needed some more bubbling in time. So reattached it, gonna give it another few minutes. Stuff was loosening, but uh, you know, it wasn't the same dramatic effects as what happened on the, uh, the spoon part. Is this not a totally different spoon now? Wow. There's just a little bit of uh, iron to get off. <clears throat> and that is, uh, you know, it, it's a silver spoon, so it's not, uh, it, it's separate. Um, it's just uh, really embedded in there, caked in there. Uh, so have to get that, uh, maybe a little bit more electrolysis, uh, then we can polish. Well, I used some uh, tarnish remover, uh, Tarnex it's called, and uh, got this to the next level. You know, it's still not perfect. It still has uh, blemishes, uh, definitely. But you could see uh, the engravings. You could see that this was uh, fancy schmancy. So we still have a little bit to go. Um, I want to see if I could get my um, rotating drill uh, working with a really uh, soft cloth uh, that'll spin really fast and polish this, because I think that's what we need to do. Um, there's these little uh, blemishes that, you know, we have to uh, get out, and um, it needs something that is not too abrasive, but, uh, you know, something that'll uh, get in there. It is the next day and I have been thinking about the spoon all day, okay? And uh, I bought a drill. And what I'm gonna do, hello. What I'm gonna do is put the spinny thingy, oh, I don't know how to describe it. You wanna see? You wanna see what I'm gonna do? Yeah. All right, let's do it. This is it. This is the fluffy buff that is going to save the day. All right, so we're gonna put some of this silver polish onto this fluffy thingy. Oh, God, of course I did that. Lovely. Pause.
20 minutes later. That is my most spectacular cleaning job ever. You could like see your reflection on it now. That came out awesome, very happy. It's got an engraving in here. Let's take a close look. I think it says CW. Now, I just want to mention that uh, I'm always down to try new things, and uh, this is the next level of uh, electrolysis right here. It's called the Ugly Box, and uh, I just ordered this from Kelly Co., and uh, we're, we're going to test it out, not in this video, but in the future. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I have seen amazing videos on it. Uh, so uh, be, stay tuned. We're we're gonna we're gonna test this out really soon. I've seen it work really well. I am committed to learning this. Anyway, for today, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll, I'll be back with more videos. You you know I do a few per week. So um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, come on, man, what you waiting for? Take care, everybody.